What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we're talking all about the June update for Destiny and the changes coming in the patch. So the June update is not to be confused with something like the April update, it hasn't got new content, it's basically a patch update with a lot of patches and tuning, buffs and nerfs and that kind of stuff. This update definitely came as a massive surprise, Bungie kind of dropped it out of nowhere with no one really expecting it, but this update should be live by the time you're watching this video on Tuesday the 14th of June. So like I said, there's a ton of changes and I'm going to go over all of them, the most important ones you want to know, and of course leave your thoughts down below in the comment section with your thoughts on the changes whether you like them or you don't like them or what you think in general about them. So this update is kind of split into two parts being the weapon changes and also the subclass changes so I'll read the weapon stuff first and then go into the subclass changes which is honestly the most surprising part. So firstly look at the weapon changes. So beginning with the hand cannons they've increased the accuracy for the low range hand cannons. They've done a pretty hefty nerf to the highest rate of fire auto rifles being the Doctrine of Passing, the Soul Seeder's Claw and the Arminius. They've reduced the damage by 6% which is pretty big. The next one is pretty interesting. They've essentially made it so that you're never going to run out of ammo as long as you're killing things in the crucible i've never really understood why there's a limit in the first place in crucible but now they've made it so that you can actually replenish your ammo a lot more often when you get low the likelihood of it replenishing your ammo is going to be a lot higher so that's definitely a very good change looking forward to see how that works now the hawk moon specifically as an exotic they said this was flying at too high so it reduces this ability by five percent now that's it for the weapons and now onto the subclass changes the bulk of this is for the hunter because that's kind of the main theme of this there's also some changes for the warlock and titan as well which i'll go into in a second so firstly with the gun Slinger. The trip mines no longer stick, which honestly is my favourite thing about this whole June update. I think trip mines sticking was really pointless because personally, that's what these sticky grenades are for. You're supposed to stick people with them, and that's the way you kill people. But trip mines are like a two in one. You can stick people, or you can put it on the floor and then get the kill as well. So I feel like it was kind of a multi-purpose nade, and it was a bit too overpowered. It was really annoying personally getting stuck with a trip mine. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But I personally really got annoyed by getting stuck by trip mines. I think you should stick them to a wall, and that's it, not to a person. But now you can't do that, so it's not going to stick to people. It's going to off you and also the damage it does which is pretty interesting it's been reduced by three percent i'm not sure exactly if that means it's no longer a one hit i'm a little bit on the fence of whether the trip mine should in my opinion be a one hit kill and just kill you instantly of course i on the other hand am a trip mine magnet i always get killed by the things even if they're just nowhere near me but i'm not sure whether they should be a one hit i feel like if they aren't if they put you weak that's kind of pointless but it does feel a little bit just i don't know walk around a corner again one hit by an a doesn't really feel that fair but i'm not really too sure leave your comments down below do you think it should be a one hit and this is three percent damage actually going to make much of a difference. Now moving on to the golden gun, the base damage has been increased by 50% and also an additional 30% in PvE. This is a much, much needed increase for the golden gun. It was basically useless in PvE, obviously in PvP it does make a difference, you're going to die if you get one hit, but now in PvE it's actually useful. The circle of life, probably the most useless perk in the history of destiny, now actually does something. It used to extend the duration of the golden gun if you get a throwing knife kill while your golden gun is out, which is completely useless, don't think anyone ever used it, but now it actually reduces the golden gun cooldown so it has a purpose. The blade dancer, the blink actually reduces the recovery by one, so it's kind of like a trade off there. The blink strike melee actually has a reduced lunge distance by 0.4 meters. The blade dancer super, this is pretty interesting. So the super itself lasts two seconds longer now. The slash, there's actually a 0.8 second delay in it. The slashes also use 20% more energy, and hitting an enemy reduces that reduction of energy by 20%. So basically, they don't want you to spam the blade dancer and just be slashing all over the place to be able to dodge people and fly around the map. They want to use it tactically and only use the swipe to kill people and you're going to get rewarded it's going to last a lot longer if you're very accurate if you don't waste those slashes so that's a good change in my opinion i always hated how people just flew around the map and really hard to hit when they were blade dancing but now it's gonna be a lot easier to hit them and they're going to be a lot more tactical because you will actually last a lot longer if you do not just spam it and just fly around the map like crazy so there's also a 30% damage increase in PvE, making it a little bit more useful. The Vanish is very interesting. That now makes you instantly vanish when you pop the Blade Dance. When you pop it, if you have Vanish perk on, you're going to pop it being invisible, which I think is huge. That's going to make it very, very useful, and I think that's definitely worth using now. The Encore perk now increases the damage by 150%, which is pretty good for PvE. Now into the Night Stalker, the Spike Grenade, which is the one that no one ever uses pretty much in their lives. That's been increased in terms of damage, and also the Defender Titans one, his has done so as well. The biggest change in my opinion, which I personally love so much, the Shadow Shot now suppresses on impact. So no longer can you hit someone with the actual Shadow Shot, and then they throw more hammers at you or start blade dancing out of it. If you hit someone with the boat, they're going to get instantly taken out of it, which I think is so good and makes it so much more useful the smoke grenade now lasts longer but does less damage the shade step which is pretty important this you can only do once now and it's on a three second cooldown so you can't do it double and you can only do it every three seconds 
Now into the other classes, the Titan, the Twilight Garrison is the same as the Shade Step. You can do it once every three seconds, not double. I personally love this. I think Titans had a little bit too much mobility with this thing. It was really annoying having Titans just boost around and be able to evade you. I don't think Titans should be that mobile. I think Hunters, yes, because they're supposed to be weak, but very agile. But I think Titans are supposed to be very tanky and slow. I don't think they should boost around. So I personally like this change with the Twilight Garrison. They increase the damage of a lot of the supers in PvE and also PvP. So the Fist of Havoc, the Nova Bomb, the Storm Trance and also the Hammers of Soul. Those have massive damage increases in PvE, so again, make them more useful. The Hammer of Soul now has an increased speed by 1.3%, and the detonation radius is increased by 10%. That's basically like grenades and horseshoes. It's going to blow up a little bit close to you now. Probably the most hated thing in the history of Destiny, and definitely the most witch hunted right now, the Fire Bolts. Those are getting a pretty big nerf. The radius which they zap you has been reduced by 1 meter, which is pretty huge, and also there's a 0.2 second delay before they zap you, so you have a chance to run away from the small radius that it is. And the main thing is Viking Funeral. That was the perk that made Fire Bolts last so long, so you could burn for like months on end, and now that no longer makes you burn you will burn for a few seconds if they have touch of flame on but viking funeral now is a different ability it's now the same as the sunbreaker melting point punch where they're weaker to incoming damage this is pretty interesting so warlocks are now basically useful in pve now you can fire a boss and weaken him just like the tether and your teammates can do more damage to him so the sun singers have quite a good use now in pve and the final thing is the flame shield that now is a 0.3 second delay before activating so what are your favorite changes or what are your least favorite changes let me know in the comment section mine are probably the trip mines not sticking you and the shadow shot actually suppressing you when you're hit let me know your thoughts in the comment section drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it if you do want to see the full complete list of everything in the june update all the little things i'll put a link in the description to the full blog post but i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one